Here I am testing my tool changer with four FDM tools, where one of them has an Enrage Rabbit card feed multi-material unit, enabling it to print up to 12 different filaments in the same print. This 12 color print took a total of 45 hours, with much of that being the ERCF pauses where the filament did not load and unload correctly while I was not available to fix it immediately. The real tool changing only paused once when it didn't detect an unlock. Here it is printing with ERCF tool 5 on my physical tool 0. When done printing with this tool, the next filament to load is on a regular tool, T9. Before unmounting the physical tool, the code brings the next tool to active temperature. The previous tool is sparked and automatically set to standby temperature of 175 degrees Celsius, with the timers starting to set it in off mode if the tool is not used again in the next 10 minutes. The nozzle is primed by inserting the filament 14 mm into the heat brake and nozzle. Purging is kept at a minimum and the print can begin as soon as the hot end is heated up and waste filament is kept at a minimum. Before unmounting the current tool, it starts heating up the next and retracts the 14 mm of filament to clear the nozzle and heat brake, thus minimizing filament leakage. This print has 681 tool changes, out of which 353 are real tool changes where the tool head is swapped, and the rest of 328 are pure ERCF tool changes where no tool swapping is done. If I had updated my timeouts from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to the off timer, that would have been gone down a bit. Looking at the unload times that are not temperature sensitive, mean time of unloading a real tool is about 7 to 8 seconds, while an ERCF tool takes about 35 seconds. The much longer purge of the ERCF is not included in these times and should also be considered. The next tool to be used is an ERCF tool. Now that the 10 minute timer has not activated, the physical tool swap is much faster. It is requested to swap to T0, which is a virtual ERCF tool on the physical tool 0. Because the loaded filament is not the required one, a tip forming macro is done before the filament is retracted by the ERCF inside the buffer and then loaded the requested T0 filament from the buffer to the nozzle. Because my reverse bowden between the extruder and the ERCF is 182 cm long, I had to enlarge this great buffer already available on GitHub so the filament wouldn't be winded up too many times. This tool that has the ERCF connected has an E2D Revo hotend with an Orbiter 1.5 extruder. I initially wanted to use a Bontech LGX Lite as my extruder on this tool head for the ERCF, but because of the fixed pressure between the gears, it was not reliably picking up the filament after multiple ERCF swaps, so I had to switch to this one. After loading the filament from the buffer through the ERCF, it primes the nozzle by printing on the purge block and because it has to clear all of the old color from the nozzle, the amount of filament purged is by a magnitude larger than the amount used in the print. The next tool is another ERCF on the same physical tool, so it will move the nozzle out of the way, form the tip to be as compact as possible, retract the filament into the buffer, switch your CF tool and load the next filament to the nozzle before printing on the purge block again. The final benchy ended up being 11 grams and the purge block being 48 grams. 
most of the length of the reverse bowden between the ERCF and the extruder is 3 mm inner diameter and 6 mm outer diameter with the converter to 2.5 mm inner and 4 mm outer diameter at each end. This is because the thin wall of the 2.5 mm inner diameter PTFE tube was easily compressed. The tools as seen in this video are from left to right uh, E3D Revo with Bontech LGX light wired to a canvas hoovered board I got from the actual creator at the 3D Meetup Sweden in 2022. Next is E3D Revo with Orbiter 1.5 connected to a SKR 1.3 board. This is the ERCF tool. Next is uh, E3D V6 with a Bontech BMG also connected to uh, the ESKR 1.3 board. And the last one is uh, E3D Revo with a Bontech LGX Lite and an EB42 canvas board. All tool heads have dual Sanon Maglev blower 5015 fans except for the V6 tool that has only one. The ERCF is connected to the same SKR 1.3 board as the tool heads above, all running on TMC 220 lines. The quad core XY has four 0 0.9 degree motors, one in each corner shortening the belt of the Core XY and adding torque. Each stepper is on a separate TMC5160 running at 36 volts on an Octopus Pro board. The toolhead is a slightly modified Jubilee toolhead that is remotely locked by a geared stepper on the outside of the printer and compatible with E3D tool plates. Everything runs in Clipper and using ERCF version 3 and my Clipper tool changer code that is available on GitHub.